Before 1990, the coral reefs off the coast of Australia were flourishing. They had the most diverse ecosystem in the entire world, with millions of different species ranging from fish to coral, seaweed to moss. However, as the world's human population has increased, the varying species and the number of each in the coral reef have decreased. This is because, as the human population has increased, the amount of pollution produced increased right along with it. Pollution is an issue caused by everyone and is an issue that could be reduced if everyone puts a little effort into it. For example, by recycling more and picking up trash found on the ground, we could reduce pollution. Although it is a small thing, it is a step in the right direction. Another small thing is turning the lights off when you leave a room. This can reduce light pollution and lessen your carbon footprint. A carbon footprint is the amount of carbon dioxide and other carbon co compounds emitted due to the consumption of fossil fuels by a person. Everyone has a carbon footprint, but each person's footprint is different. Some are big, which include lots of trash, driving everywhere they go, and not turning off lights. And others are relatively small, like recycling, walking when possible, and turning off lights when they leave a room. Also, a carbon footprint is not set in stone. It can change in a good or bad way. By taking steps to reduce your pollution production, you can reduce your carbon footprint, but by increasing your pollution, your carbon footprint will also increase. How does this connect to the coral reefs off the coast of Australia? Well, they are being destroyed by pollution, but if people learn how to reduce their pollution and therefore their carbon footprint, we may have a chance of saving the coral reefs and restoring them to their original beauty.